Peter, before we talk about the England match, um, can I ask you just about your reaction when you heard that CJ Stander uh, shared the news with everybody that he was retiring at the uh, at the ripe old age of 30 or 31 at the end of the season? Um, yeah, look, uh, very shocked, obviously. Um, but when he told us all last night, um, obviously didn't see it coming. I don't think anyone did, but you know he explained his reasons. Um, you know, and his, his reasons are very, very valid ones. Um, you know, very noble ones, in my opinion. And um, you know, everyone will will, will respect respect his decision. Um, you know, the man has given an incredible amount to uh, to not just Ireland but Munster as well. Uh, Limerick. Um, you know, incredible teammate, and um, you know he's got to give a bit back to his family now, who have, who have sacrificed a huge amount for him. So, um, look, we'll, we'll we'll hopefully make uh, you know this week and 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 the the couple of months or three or four months that he's remaining and left to play play with, with us and me certainly as as special as as we can. And just a, a second question about CJ, if you don't mind. I mean, you shared a monster change room in Ireland, one alliance changing room. What's made him kind of stand out as a teammate amongst, uh, yeah, among, amongst the people that you hang around? Look, his, his selflessness, his his professionalism. Um, you know, from the day he, he arrived in uh, in Munster, he, he he did his best to, to buy in um, to to our culture, and you know now he's he's creating bits of our culture. Um, you know he's. He's a person who, you know, I, I'd always, I'd always think, um, you know, who do who do kids look up to? Um, you know, you want to be someone who 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 the young fellas look up to, and, you know, I suppose it's it's a nice compliment to give someone that you know there's kids around, probably not just Ireland, around the British Isles and and beyond who who want to be like CJ, um, you know, which is which is a huge compliment. He's an incredible family man, um, which obviously he's spoken about. And how important that is to him. So, you know, an incredible friend, and obviously an incredible teammate. Um, but more importantly, uh, an incredible friend. And um, you know, I can't say much more. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. And um, I think he had that famous uh, kiss and make up in some dressing room uh, playing for Munster that time. But uh, as a competitor, how did you make as well the rest of you better? I look, you, you you see the way he turns up every week. Um, you know, it's it's no <clears throat> it's no secret that he's he's never had a long term injury or, or any sort of an injury at all and that's down to how how he looks after himself, his professionalism, his recovery. Um you know, he, he brings an incredible edge, not just when it comes to the weekend but in, in training as well. You know, he's he, he's an immaculate trainer. Um incredibly coachable, which is something also that I, I would you know, rate him as, as one of the best. His, his his ability to listen and learn and, and to learn new skills like the, the player he arrived at and the player the player he is now, you know, he's he's come such a long way and he's 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 lapped up, you know, the the great coaches that myself and himself have spent a huge amount of time with. Um again just a competitor, you know, you can see it in him, you know, we've all watched him play fifty odd times for Ireland and and well over 100 for for Munster, you know, is he's just competing and competitive with everything, and um, you know that's that's what made him such a such an incredible teammate. Obviously, since your suspension, how tough has uh, the last month been for you, and how desperate are you to to get on the Irish team now this weekend, Peter? Yeah, look, it's been it's been hard. Obviously, when <clears throat> it's different when you're injured, you're. You're on a different buzz, but when you're fit and healthy and and, and you're ready to go and and you're raring to go and you can't, it's you know it's um, it's it's it makes it a little bit tougher. But yeah, I spent a couple of great weeks with um, Munster, kind of training with the A team and stuff, uh, trying to help the seniors to prepare for their games and back in here last week um, to prepare the lads as, as best as possible, which which I I certainly enjoyed. Um, but look at. Uh, it, I'm not going to make any bones about it. It's, I'm looking forward to getting back playing. Uh, Peter, just going back to um, CJ for a minute. Uh, how disappointing is it for him, I suppose, for the group as well, that he won't get the send-off he probably deserves with, with a full stadium uh, this weekend and I, presumably for, for the rest of the season with Munster as well? 
Yeah, look, it's it's really unfortunate, uh, and all the not just his his teammates will like to you know play well for him and give him a, a good send off, and and that'll be you know the most important to him. I've no doubt his family and, and his immediate teammates, but I, I'm sure there's there's lots of people around the country who who would love to you know show their respect uh, to what he's done for Irish rugby and and, and Munster rugby, and you know that's unfortunate, but you know, I think he knows. Certainly, the the most important people are the ones who'll be around over the next few weeks, and and we'll certainly do our very best to, to, as I said, send them off and hopefully win them ways from from lots of different angles. And do you think he deserves a, a swan song with the Lions? Oh, look, he's he's playing incredible rugby. Um, obviously, I'm 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 not a selector. I'm not going to sit here and select him for the Lions, but he's he's playing incredibly rugby, and he's he'll he'll like. He'll put his best foot forward as he always does. He he shows up every week, and plays his plays with his heart in his sleeve. Um, plays hard, plays fair, and he uh, he'd put his he'd put his hand right up in the air for for that selection certainly. Right, thanks. Hey, how's it going? Well, that's um, just a, a one for me on on CJ. Like the standout ones are kind of him in front of figure eight in Soldier Field and. Wearing that number twenty four jersey uh, at Glasgow game as well, but it's the stuff that he did in a week in and a week out basis. Like he's really added to that legacy of the the monster number eight jersey, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's 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 been. Um, oh, I think I've said it. He's been incredible for us. Um, you know, not just from Munster and Ireland. He's he's really has been. Um, you know, the, you know, you obviously see his carrying stats and how hard he works there, but. You know, to be there, you have to be incredibly fit and robust to do what he does. And you know, he's probably taken that to, you know, a new level when it comes to to number eights that that that, that have been around. Um, you know, he's been great, brilliant for the young fellas around as well, young young guys around squads. You know, teaching and coaching, um, not even teaching and coaching, but having someone to to watch to do what he does is 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 enough in itself. And and you know, he he. He goes. He he goes about his job in a in a in a quiet manner when he's when he's on the pitch. He he puts his head down and 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 he's a guy you follow. You know what I mean. He might not always be. Well, he makes plenty of noise at times, but he 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 puts his head down and he and he works hard. And and for the guys around him, you know his his work rate is infectious. And um, you know it's great to be around. And, and I always remember that game when, when Jamie had picked up his injury before you guys played England around Paddy Say around a few years back. But just the, the incredible atmosphere when Ireland normally play England at home and you guys are without that this weekend. But so how do you guys kind of charge yourself up? It, it's a kind of a self motivational job this time, isn't it? Okay, every game has been like that since since this happened. You know, we've always relied massively on our crowd in, in the Aviv and, and abroad. Um, you know they give us such a great atmosphere there, and 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 you know we've we've had to navigate it, navigate our way around that. Um, you know over the last few months, so look, this weekend won't be any different. Um, you know, I've sit here, I don't know how many times the week of an England game. You know, there, it's a massive week uh, for both teams. You know, it doesn't get. You know, every Six Nations game is, is is incredibly hard fought and difficult, and um, you know it's it's no different with with England at the weekend. You know, you've seen the quality, you know, that they produce every week, week in, week out. Um, you know, the quality they they showed last week to to overcome a very good French team. Um, so look, it's 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 again, it's it's Six Nations week, it's the final week. It's there's a huge amount at stake, and and that's what the way it always is. Hi, Pete. Uh, red cards obviously a part of the game and, and they you know they happen but do you feel like you now owe the, the team a performance sort of to, to atone for that and to make amends um, look when it comes to breakdown and, and when it comes to international rugby you, you've got to be incredibly urgent you've got to be incredibly accurate and you've got to bring physicality, and 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 these things, these incidents happen. It's it's a very physical game, um, you know. I've I've always played hard. I've always played fairly, in my opinion. And um, look, 
I hundred percent was was wrong in, in in what happened in the incident. But I think the guys know better than anyone. My teammates know that I, I was I was acting in the best intent to to to, to make the best intention I suppose for the team that day and, and unfortunately that that's what happened I, I don't think they'd be looking for me to to put in any different performance that I'd go out on every any, any other week to play for Ireland that, that would be that would be unjust to the jersey I go out every time to play to play as best I can so um, and I think more importantly than anyone the lads around me know that the Guinness Six Nations Championship live on Virgin Media 1 and Virgin Media Player